Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2 Lore Through. I am um, going to play the exact same episode as last time again. But this time it's clear. See, now you can see things. Much better. I just resent having to play it again. Why did that hit me? <laughs> I raised the adaptability. I leveled up, I'm at 20 adaptability, which is 98 agility. I miss this. I'm gonna blind parry here. So now we can go here. Soul Flash. One of the ancient sorceries that were lost when Alien Lords froze over. Rapidly fire barrage of small souls. Oh, okay. So that's what that was. We saw that from up there. I was like, what is that? Supposed to, I suppose you're supposed to see uh, this item up there, but I couldn't see it. North Warder, Hood, Robe, etc. Hood of a Ferocin Sage. So there we go. Ferocins ven venerated the god of war. There's another clue. <laughs> the god of war is uh, Gwyn's firstborn. <clears throat> And sages who led warriors into battle were called North Warders. North Warders earned their title only after completing a great journey of great hardship, after which they would be worshipped as oracles of the war gods. Um, well, so I mean, if they traveled to Ferosa, then that means they wouldn't. I don't know. So that's interesting because the ferrum armor, next time we're at a bonfire I'm going to read the ferrum set then again. Okay, cool. I, I feel like the, the ferrum set said stuff about the god of war and I didn't connect it with the firstborn. Good, there's more dogs. That was much easier. Why are there less dogs that time? Okay. They're not attacking me though. I don't remember what makes them attack you. Retainer staff. Staff wielded by the retainers of the Cathedral City. Long ago, the retainers attended to the priestesses, but with them gone, the retainers were left to wander for Jillian Moist without purpose. So I guess that's what these are. Because that's. They have that dagger. I don't know.
Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, you don't have uh, protection against them any longer. Try and get them all three down, so I can just do one hit and kill them all. What's that last icon under my stamina? I feel like that might be the nullify the the like the effigy effect because I beat the boss. So these guys not attack you? I mean, what's the deal? <laughs> okay, that's fine. <sighs> what is going on? I like how I turn away from the snow. So yeah, I guess these, they just, they don't come alive until you like pass. Makes sense.
Man, I'm just tanking damage here. I'm not really sure. Where are my heads at? Um, so yeah, we could go down here, but I'm going to maybe see. I'm going to maybe save that for another time. We'll just go through the normal part of the game, do that first. this in the first time around too? Probably. Alright. I guess I was trying to parry them always. This is going to be a... Oh, in this area. God. Great. I guess it's good that we're by a, uh... bonfire. But I want to do that one area where, you know, you can't get to it from the bonfire very easily. Um... the stairs maybe Soul vessel. Sorcerer's twin blade. Divine blessing. A twin blade origi originating in Melfia doubles as a catalyst for sorcery, a rare weapon used by very few skill very few warriors, owing to its dependence on honed skills with both staff and sword. Interesting. Melfia, huh? Um so is this that was that that was that side path we don't need to go on. And Now, I can try to do this. I'm going to repair powder up. 
so I can take on this next area. I just wish I had a uh, more Ugh. everyone. Okay. Was this unavailable last time? Because I certainly don't remember this. Oh, a torch guy. Maybe that's a clue. Oh, there's like a... There's something... Very self-referent, like, very Dark Souls 1 based up here, I think. It's an item. Helm forms from an ancient bell appears to be a mere curiosity, but it is in fact quite practical. The top of the helm provides significant defense. It's weird. It's really weird. Okay. See, like here in this area, they made it in the middle of a city. I don't know. I think it makes sense. I guess I don't know where Broom Tower was. I think that Helm dings when you hit it, too, which is funny. Oh, thanks for the torch. All right, let's do this area. I remember it being a little bit of a gauntlet, but I think I'll be fine. But there's a... This is one of those old doors that we see in Dream Lake a lot. That's the way it was. I think that was the enemy that was here before. Because they seem to move those the guy around a lot. I'm an effigy. Oh, did I just miss an item? Where are they going? Nope. Okay, now 
Hopefully you get up there from here. That's weird, I did not get hit at all. It's good I didn't, because they hurt bad. Garrison Ward Key. Okay, so I definitely needed to come here. Opens the Garrison Ward of Elium Weiss. The Garrison Ward was built to confine chaos, and Elium Knights remain there today, waiting for someone to lead the advance on the Swollen Flame, faithful to the King's final orders. So it looks like there's a bunch of, I mean... There are a bunch of, uh, uh, Elium Moist soldiers that are waiting to fight the Chaos. You just need someone to lead them into battle. And then we get the Bone Fist. Bone that is bound to the fist, used to enhance hand-to-hand -hand combat, salvage from a mal malformed creature, enables one to fight with inhuman strength, as if the very spirit of the bone's malicious owner has taken control. This is a cool move set. like that. And that, of course, is cool. Anyway. Um, yep. That's that area done. Not a moment too soon. We really need a bonfire. No stamina. Have any stamina, and they just went for it. I guess I also should go human. Oh, the garrison ward key, I see. That's probably what lets me in. to this area right here. Oh. Rampart Golem Lance. I'm sure that doesn't have any new lore. Yeah. Ugh.
So I guess this leads to the garrison ward. You climb in this. And then you slide down and then you do a really bad section. Which I am going to forgo in this playthrough. Oh, does he not come after you? Okay. So again, we know that this is a mimic, and we can probably see the teeth then. But I like that little mechanic, and there's the Katarina armor, of course. I don't know if it's a mechanic, but you know what I mean. The way they presented that. Good stuff over here. And bright bugs. A lot of good stuff in bright bugs. I mean, bright bugs are awesome, but they have a lot of limitations and such. Alright, so now we can actually do this section. This guy with a great sword. wearing. Also, there's Ferris here. There wasn't Ferris in any of the other areas, like Shulva or Duro's hat. <laughs> Monocled hat favored by blue eyed Durgo extends arrow range. The hero Durgo, an expert bowman, and his brother in law defended their homeland from aggressors. In spite of Lonifer's policy of isolationism, Durgo was well known even beyond its domain. So I guess Durgo's from Lanifer. Good old Durgo. This is cleared. Okay. Oh, interesting. This is where the dogs are, and then down by where the dogs are is where we get their first night. I didn't realize that. Oh, okay, I'm gonna kill those guys. Ooh. Oh, nice. Those guys swiftly. 
Let's see. What's over here? Oh, that's the guy in the cage. We got an item from. We could look into this room. Okay. Priest's Chime plus eight. It's an interesting idea to have items that are like leveled up in areas that are more advanced. I mean, it's not really the like Dark Souls spirit. Usually, you'll just have. Usually, you'll just have. Uh, okay. Where is this? Okay. Um, usually, you just, you know, your build that you're making always goes for NG plus or whatever. Like, yeah, I'm just going to go back here. I don't really know. I mean, I guess it's really close to the bonfire, so if you wanted to, it's a shortcut, I guess. So you bake all your stuff and then basically do an NG plus with that build. I mean, it's not like your build that you can do will start you off at the beginning of the game with all the stats and weapons that you want. I mean, what if the weapon you want to play the build in is at the end of the game? You know, it's like it's not really how to do that. So. It is very, I don't know. Can I drop down there? Okay, I remember that. Yeah, I can just get down there normally. So I'm just going to do that. I mean, I guess it's played through it twice, but it's played through it twice where, like, you know, there is a lot of content that you get when you move the ice, so I, I shouldn't be that complaining about it. It's not like we're playing this twice. These dogs are very much like the dog. I mean, that's another thing. Like, the dogs in Dark Souls 2 are not the same dogs as in Dark Souls 1, but these are the same dogs from Dark Souls 1. Maybe I'm just remembering wrong. I mean, I know that those are the, the ones from Dark Souls 1, but I guess I don't remember... I guess there are those dogs in, um, like in the, the Lost Bastille, so. So I take it back. And they are different, they are different, I'm just misremembering. Okay. Okay, here's a first shortcut. It's meaningful. Yes, right. I swear we'll escape. First, I remember this being a pretty hard invader because it's like a witch. She's got the spirit tree shield. Yeah, it's just because there's the two. Okay, now that I got his attention, maybe he can come. fight you wherever. Okay. 
Keep blocking. Oh, great. <laughs> I didn't realize the at risk meant literally you have three swings and then it will break. It usually means, you know, it'll break in a bit. <laughs> Oops. All right. Uh, and we're just going to go. Where's the closest one to that? Reeve shield. I think it's the one we didn't get. Oh, I don't have any. Uh, yeah, let's do this one. I don't know. Ten thousand should be fine. I'll be over. Okay. Reminder to not do that again. Okay, so. I feel like Okay, there's a shortcut here. I'm gonna attempt to just run through this and see how that makes that makes me fair. These guys are not going to run down this ladder, but I could be wrong. Okay. Uh, but I'm just going to continue to go down. Oh! Oh, okay. Down. that guy come down? Or is he just shooting me from there? Okay. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know if that's better. I guess I could pelter with arrows too. This time, 
Or Ellie. Donna. <laughs> yeah. Okay. A Knight of Eliamoy seeks the chaos. So there's four such knights, and we have to find them all. Okay. So now... Oh, pick up item. Rampart Golem Armor. I don't think we've had any of their armor, so... Armor of the Rampart Golems. The Golems were charged with the containment of the creatures of chaos. Yep, same description. Okay. This way. Is this just the? Uh, if this is the bonfire, that definitely would have been a quicker way. I guess it's that one terrible room. Aha. Uh -huh. Man, there's so much to do, and we're almost at the end of a. Or at least a normal episode. Um, yeah, this is a long DLC. I forgot. And that guy dies once, I guess. So, that's nice. So I guess what we can do is we can just move forward here and then get that other get to that other bonfire. Oh, that's here. Okay. Okay, now so I have to clear out this stupid room again. And we learn the concept of these golems. So in this part, like, if there's a soul killed by it, it'll, yeah, it'll go up to it, and then it will create, it'll make a new enemy. Which is kind of, you know, creative, but... Okay. I don't know if we've ever seen a golem in uh, Dark Souls 2 that fights. Ugh. I like how they don't move so that they, uh, Power to these golems. Okay, good. I don't think any of these are mimics. But we don't need to, like, you know. Oh, there is one. Okay. Out. 
Oh, and we got the symbol of avarice, and it turned on this. So I would really be interested to see what the symbol of avarice says because, you know, the symbol of avarice. Ugh, what a delayed hit. Oh, what? Can you can you hit it before it? Hmm, interesting. I talked about a god that it was named built after a god. Headpiece depicting the avarice, avar avaricious creature that mimics treasure chests. Um, there's a curious tale of uh, of an incur incorrigibly covetous ancient deity. Clearly it has currency amongst some miscreants, or this would never have been crafted. Yeah, that's pretty much what it said. In the Dark Souls 1, so... Let's see how many of these guys we can just get down here. Although, I can't remember which one we're going to need to kill. <sighs> because, um... Oh, it just does so much damage. It's just crazy. Like that. That first hit was reasonable. The second hit did double damage of what the first one was. It's crazy. Okay, I think it's this side. Like, I think... No, definitely not. Okay. Two of these guys, great. I can't even hit these guys. <laughs> oh my god. That's a weird. Ooh, what do they drop? I feel like that's not a special, like, a drop that they'll, like, drop every time. I feel like... Oh, nice. I guess you could farm one that way. So, can you open it with just the one? No. Okay. So, I'll definitely need him up here. Look at how much that damage that does. Ooh, I don't know what that crap does. Alright. What could this possibly be? Curved Neil Greatsword. A curved greatsword with an ominous blade, one of the forbidden weapons sealed away by the Ivory King. Formed by rock tree and the remnants of a most peculiar soul, it is said that this that the farther its wielder travels, the deadlier the blade becomes. I don't remember what that is. Is that the um just the curve the arc under the I mean, it's not the Murakumo because the Murakumo doesn't take any Soul. Is there just a curved greatsword in Dark Souls 1? I can't remember. Okay, so this is now newly opened. Oh, okay. They're doing this in such a way that it's really hard to not waking those golems up.
do I want to wake these golems up? Okay, I don't need to. And if she won't follow me because she doesn't want to get away from the golems, then I don't care. Okay, we have another knight. Who awaits someone to lead them into battle, and I guess that's me. Uh, I'll go up there in a second. Okay, yeah. Yeah, is the, there's like a... Yeah, I knew there was one there. Or, I knew there was one somewhere around there. Um, okay, well we're gonna go up here first. Before we dive down there. Just in case, that's a... Uh, so hopefully this is just a shortcut here, and then we can go back around. And that is the one right there, okay. Perfect. I guess that's a good shortcut to have. So I think this, yeah, this might get us to an area that we've never been before. Yeah, good. to say quite something ahead okay that's where the bonfire is um yeah I think that's a new area because I think this is the guy right above Surely one hit won't break it. I guess I should wear the ash and knuckle ring. I, do I have something to spare? Yes, I do. Or bracing, not the ash and knuckle, but the bracing knuckle. Okay. Twin headed great bow. A great bow made of animal bone. The fine craftsmanship suggests that it originates in Lanifer. The unusual design appears to have ceremonial implications, but may simply be intended to intimidate foes. I mean, I guess you could imply this could imply that, you know, this is Lanifer, because there's certainly a lot of Lanifer things here. However, there's one item that kind of firmly establishes this place as Ferocin. Um, so... Alright, well... Um, there's a whole other bonfire. We're coming up on the end here of this episode. So what I'll do here... So I'll just make sure I'll look up <laughs> the last... Uh, parts of this before we fight and then we can fight the ivory king uh, in the next episode uh thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye